Hello guys. This is offset from Cyberzing FX. This is tutorial for universal indicator EA. Uh, first I will explain what this EA is. Universal indicator EA is not like any other EA which will trade by its own trading logic. This EA takes or read signal from other MT4 indicators which is available in the MT4 market or uh, outside. So if you have an indicator which works for you and you need to automate that EA to take trades. Universal Indicator EA will help you in this. So you don't want to program yourself an expert, expert advisor for your EA or you know you don't need to hire an developer to uh, create an EA using that indicator signals. Give the indicator name in the settings and start trading using your indicator signal. So as every EA you need to put universal indicator EA inside the experts expert advisor the folder in empty for terminal I will show where it is open data folder equal for experts and here we have universal indicator EA so to start automated trading switch on this switch auto trading switch in MT4 terminal after that open a chart here we opened uh, euro usd h1 chart and click or drag this uh, universal indicator here. first i will explain the settings available in the here. This expert advisor works in two modes. One is the indicator mode, like as I, as I said, you can give the indicator name in the settings, and the EA will take signals from your indicator and trade. The other option is you can place manual trade using the EA, and later EA will manage your uh, manual trades based on the given uh, other settings like trading stop break even stop loss take profit and uh, trading time so first we will go to the tabs this is here about tab you have the indicator name the latest version is 5.3 Cybersing FX uh, and Cybersing FX custom indicator. And the other one is common, common settings. Uh, this is uh, you don't need to change anything. The uh, default, these are the default settings. Long and short means whether you need to, you need to take uh, both buy and sell. Mm. And next is the EA parameters. First is order to execute. This is in by default it is use signal from your indicator for orders. So if you choose this option, the indicator will read your sorry, the EA will read signal from your indicator to trade. So this is your signal from your indicator for orders. Then you need to give your indicator name. See here, this is the second settings name of indicator to use. 
this is where you need to give your indicator by default it is cybersing fx zigzag arrow indicator which is so freely available uh, with this here uh, so to trade with your indicator you need to change this uh, name and or uh, replace this name with your indicator name. like for an example Uh, you have an EA uh, with name um, X my indicator okay. so you can place X my indicator and second type indicator signal type indicator signal type like there are different type of signal, uh, indicators like uh, some signal indicators give arrows some gives trend lines some gives uh, patterns uh, different uh, different uh, signals this ea supports arrow type signals and trend type signals i will show two indicators for an example arrow type signal means uh, it uh, will give signals in uh, in some candles where we can take trade so for example here I will show you one arrow type signal indicator cyber scene fx six second an arrow See here you have an arrow, here you have an arrow, here you have an arrow. So it will this type of indicators give you signals in, in different intervals when there is a trading opportunity. Another indicator is trend type. Super trend. This is one of the super trend indicator. Here you can see see instead of arrows this is how lines see when there is a buy opportunity it is giving buy trend and uh, when it then it reverses to sell then it uh, keeps on showing a red signal which is uh, sell and again it will uh, show blue trend line which means uh, buy opportunity so these are the two types of indicators this, so here currently we have said we are using cyber as an arrow indicator and that is arrow type signal so we will keep it as it is another one is indicator shift or signal majority of the indicators give you signal at shift one shift means in our chart see this is our chart and the shift this is the last candle produced this candle is having shift 0 this candle the last candle is having shift 0 and then the previous candle is shift 1 and the next candle will be shift 2 shift 3 shift 4 shift 5 and go on so majority of the indicators give signal at in the previously closed candle so this candle some indicators give instant signals so those indicators will be using the latest candle if uh, the EA is not taking any trade keep changing or try changing the shift and you can uh, figure out which shift you should use for your indicator and the next thing is indicator buy signal buffer 
and you will get a cell signal buffer. Here for cyberzoom or fx arrow it is 0 and 1. How you can find which buffer index your indicator is? This is simple. This is also simple to how to find your indicator signal buffers. So here for zigzag arrow indicator, I will show how we can find it. This is zigzag arrow. See, for indicator there will be a color star. In color star we can see every buffers used by this indicator. See for this indicator, so I'm using fx arrow, there is 0 and 1. See 0, we don't know what is 0, whether it is buy or sell. So what we can do is, I will change the color this to blue. And make the width 4 and set the width. See, the buy arrow change and that means buffers in that 0 is buy, buy buffer and the other one will be the set. Second one is 1 and we will give some red and uh, Give the height for yes. See the one is cell buffer index. So like this, you can also find your indicator by and cell buffers. Next, what we have is minimum value to check for buffer. Majority of the indicators use the currency price value in the buffer. Few of them may give minus values. So if you if you if your indicator is giving minus value, you can uh, put that minimum value here in the settings. I will show how you can find the indicator buffer value. See for this uh, zigzag indicator. In terminal there is data window. And now you can go right side. There is two buffers. We can see that buffers here. So this is uh, buy buffer. This is sell buffer. So if uh, I hover on buy signal, the value value will be populated in uh, buy buffer first buffer. See, and if I hover to sell, you know, the value will be there in the second, second for what? So this is how you can find uh, the values in your buffer for indicator. The next setting is take profit pips and uh, stop loss pips. That's uh, that uh, you already know how many pips that uh, TP EA should place for an order and how many stop loss pips uh, uh, you need to set for that order. This is uh, other settings for stop loss. You can be high low as stop loss. If you put this as true, EA will scan the scan previous candles this 50 candles like number of candles to to find high low so here we will scan 50 candles and set stop loss above the highest candle if it is a sell and below the lowest candle if it is a buy so if you and also here See in brackets stop loss pips added to this. So it will put stop loss below the lowest candle, also adding the stop loss pips. If you don't want any 
buffer uh, pips for that you can put it zero yeah we will now will place exactly just below the cabin next one is training stop settings i will detail about uh, training stop settings in, uh, in another video and uh, there is break even settings this is also i will uh, explain in next videos and other these order settings that is the load size we have a load multiplier if you don't need a no load multiplier you can put uh, this load multiplier as one so the load will not be multiplied plus trade at opposite signals means the, the indicators will be having majority of the indicators will be having buy and sell signals so here if you need your order to be closed if a if a other uh, opposite signal appears for example uh, your indicator gives buy signal and you the ea plays on buy order and after some time indicator gives sell signal you need to close the buy order and place sell order so if you put this settings as true the EA will close the previous order and open the new order. The next one is maximum number of trades. So here it is one. If you put it as one, EA will take only one trade for this pair. Next setting is trade time settings. This time is based on broker timing. If you need to close the open trade after the given time, you can put this. Uh, settings as true other two are slippage pips and magic number that is the maximum slippage you need to uh, consider for for taking trades and the magic number as uh, every year have to track down the orders so these are the settings i will give more details in next videos so stay in touch and please subscribe to my channel so you can get uh, new videos new trading analysis and uh, family racing I will uh, I will give more details and tutorials on other indicators and other areas that will benefit you so stay in touch subscribe the channel happy trading stay safe bye